Good afternoon, Brian. From steelballs.com, author, tells it like it is, Dr. Phil and steroids. <laughs> uh, well, I like secrets. You work with politicians and you've told people how to date younger people. Uh, there's a book out done called The Dangerous Book for Boys by uh, Con and Hal Diggledon. Bestseller. It's been on the bestsellers list for a couple of weeks now. But there's a chapter in here that made me think of uh, our conversations here on WICC about girls. You may have already noticed that girls are quite different from you. By this, we do not mean physical differences, but more the fact that they remain unimpressed by your mastery of a game involving wizards, or by your understanding of Morse code, writing in the snow, perhaps. Yes. You thought long and hard about what advice could possibly be suitable. An inescapable fact that boys spend a great deal of their lives thinking and dreaming about girls. So the subject should be mentioned here, but as delicately as possible. Now, Don, let's compare this to your information, all your work you've done all your life. Right. The, uh, the, the, the anthropological work you've done on the relationship between men and women. Biological, psychological, uh -huh. and uh, evolutionary differences. Advice about girls, number one. It is important to listen. <laughs> it's crucially important. Human beings are very self-centered and like to talk about themselves. In addition, it is an easy subject if somebody is nervous. It is good advice to listen closely, unless she has also been given this advice, in which case an uneasy silence could develop like two owls sitting together. Uh -huh. Well, I agree a thousand percent. All right. Women talk, I uh, teach these guys, um, when you go on the first date, you should not do 50-50 conversation. It should be 60-40 or 70-30 in her favor. Okay. And what if she decides that she wants you to do all the talking and you end up like two owls sitting together? Oh, no, the man has to take the lead then. All right. Definitely. Talk about bowling. Bowling? <laughs> God, no. Or I No, I teach them to talk about things that they're emotionally passionate about. Movies, music, uh, the sports teams, if she shows any interest in that. Travel. Um, anything that uh, is a general topic that's not controversial. We, we don't discuss religion, abortion, or politics, of course. Right. Don't discuss what each of the most in your body. Right. But things like, uh, I just saw the movie Departed, and oh my God, I just loved every minute of it. I thought that Jack Nicholson looked, looked just like a rat when he said, I smell a rat. Did you see the movie? I haven't seen the movie. The Departed? Oh, that, oh, oh you mean The Departed. What about the Boston? Uh... Yeah, about the Boston people. Boston people. Yes, I did see that. Well, I mean, that's the, I was just imitating what to do when there's a silence. Uh, be okay. passionate about it, have a lot of emotion in your voice, and um, generally strive to communicate, I have a life. <laughs> right. If you attempt a joke and she doesn't get it, she feels stupid, or she thinks you're stupid. So <laughs> there's only two things that can happen. I mean, there's three things that can happen. She likes it, she thinks she's stupid, or thinks you're stupid. Two out of three are bad. It's generally not a good idea, no matter how much these, quote, dating experts, unquote, talk about a sense of humor and, and getting her to laugh. Yeah. Silly stuff. Number five, avoid being vulgar. Excitable bouts of windbreaking do not endear you to a girl, just to pick one, for example. <laughs> yeah, and I say don't swear, uh, no matter if she uses the F word every other sentence. Uh, don't swear. Don't swear. Don't be vulgar. Don't be crude. Be positive, upbeat, and... Uh, Enjoy yourself and enjoy the moment because <laughs> we all like people who are positive. We don't like people who are bitching about their boss or complaining about the traffic or the service. Number seven, play a sport of some kind. Yes, definitely. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it replaces the corpse-like pallor of your computer programming skin with a ruddy glow. <laughs> Honestly, they say this is more important than you know. That makes sense. Yeah, it's very important. Sports are um, not only to impress women, there's a lot of showing off in junior high school and high school, but uh, it teaches you how to get along with other guys and uh, helps you understand uh, honor, sportsmanship, and competitiveness. It's, and women admire that and appreciate it, and you just radiate it if you have it. And if, if you don't play sports, fake an injury, that always helps too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm take a break, Don Steele will come back, I've got a, a, one more good tip here. I like it, sounds, sounds like a good book. I think what, what's happening is um, one of the reviews I had read said, uh, let the pendulum swing. 
I think that was the author, uh, and I agree, you know, the pendulum swings, my dad tried to tell me that, and now I see that, you know, the feminists had their day and now they're fading and the 50s type be a man is coming back into uh, prominence and it will probably go away again in another 50 years, I don't know. Number seven, if you see a girl in need of help, unable to lift something, for example, do not taunt her. <laughs> the object. <laughs> Careful smile while surreptitiously testing the surreptitiously testing the weight of the object. To make sure you can pick it up, I guess. If you find you can lift it, go ahead. <laughs> if you cannot, try spinning on it instead and then engaging her in conversation. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do, yeah. Oh, we don't have to move this. I like it like I like it right there. It looks good there. Yeah, it looks good there. What do you want to move it for? <laughs> and finally, number eight, make sure you are always well scrubbed. Your nails are clean and your hair is washed. Now, Don, you've told us this before. Make sure your grooming is up to snuff. Yes, indeed. One of, the, one of the guys that's become very successful in my, uh, in my coaching program, uh, when he came to the first workshop, I wouldn't let him take the suit he brought with him home. I made him throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> yeah. And Joanna had taken him out, gotten him a haircut, a manicure, um, new shoes, new watch, new everything. And um, probably about a year later he said, you know, everything I've learned from uh, you and Joanna is what my mother told me when I was eight years old. Hey. Comb your hair, iron your shirt, <laughs> tie your shoes. Uh, make sure you're, you're, you're well scrubbed, your yeah. nails are clean, your hair is washed. Remember that girls are as nervous around you as you are around them, if you can imagine such a thing. They think and act rather differently to you, but without them, life without women would be one long football locker room. <laughs> Treat the girls with respect. I like that. That's a great book, my God. That's just, that's just one page, front and back, of uh, all kinds of things. A dangerous book for boys. And to wrap a package of brown paper and string it down, you'll like this one, I know, how to play poker. Definitely. My father insisted I learn at six years old, and by ten I was able to play relatively well with my uncles, and by fifteen I was taking all the kids' money, and by college I was taking everybody's money. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a business we can get into, Don. We can just teach people how to survive with the things that they should know. We'll take this book as a epic point. Well, we're doing it right here on The Brian Smith Show every Monday or Tuesday. Now we've got to run. We've got the Yankees coming up in about a half hour. We've got some other stuff we've got to do between then and now. Thank you. Say hello to Los Angeles for me. That'll take a while, but we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Hello, Los Angeles. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Don Steele. Bye-bye. The website, steelballs.com. The announcer for today's show, the Reverend Chris. I'm Brian Smith. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the big one, WICC. I heartily recommend you all go out and buy that book, The Dangerous, the Dangerous Book for Boys. I'm certainly going to buy it, and uh, everything you need to know is in there about being a man. I have no doubt, just from what we talked about today. Joanna said today when I talked to her about what, what I was going to be talking about on the show, she said, well, that's one of the things I love about you is you can fix anything. And my father made sure I could fix anything and everything. I can't fix electronics. I mean. If the TV craps out, if it's plugged in and the cable's attached, <laughs> that's the end of it. I'm done at that point. But mechanical things, lawnmowers, toasters, whatever, I can fix anything. Um, women admire that. Uh, my mentor, Nathaniel Brennan, was uh, 46, and uh, I believe his wife went to New York to be in a play. And he came to workshop one night, and he said the lights burned out on the porch and in the in the vestibule, and it's very difficult to get in the house. I said, why don't you change the bulbs? And he sheepishly said, I don't know how. <laughs> and I, I looked at him in utter shock. I just couldn't imagine a man not being able to change the light bulb. So women react to men who are competent, capable of taking care of them and take care of the house. It's that simple. Be a man. Till next time, this is Don Steele.